welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you my February Poundland haul. You guys know that I love doing Poundland hauls. They are my all-time favourite hauls to film. I also love just getting into Poundland and picking up all the goodies because, you know, every single month they've got something really, really good out and I absolutely love it. And a lot of the stuff that I buy for Poundland, I end up having for years and years and years. So I am so excited for this month's one. I managed to pick up a few wee bits and pieces, so I picked up some Valentine's Day bits, I also picked up some cleaning bits, and also some random bits that I wasn't even expecting to pick up, which is just usual for me. But without me rambling too much, let's just get into the video. So the first thing that I picked up in Poundland was actually a paper tassel banner. Now I thought this was really, really cute. It is a kind of tassel banner Valentine's theme all very very cute this is kind of what it looks like so it has the little tassels on it i have previously got stuff like this for poundland before and absolutely loved it and i've still got a few wee bits i actually think i've got one from last year which i think would be really cute to layer over the top which is quite sparkly and glittery um but i think that this is so cute and just for valentine's coming up i thought it'd be nice to decorate my front entrance i think you guys have watched a few of my videos before where i decorate that um so i thought that i would just pick this up and just kind of decorate a wee bit i've not done it for a wee while and i kind of miss it so i think that this would be the kind of first starting piece that i can get the next bit that i also picked up in poundland is also this really cute rose now if you guys know me you know that i am an ultimate disney lover hence the reason i'm getting married at disney but this is the cutest thing ever i mainly picked it up just because it was kind of themed the same as my favourite Disney movie, which is Beauty and the Beast. I absolutely love that movie. If you guys know, my mum actually picked me up the Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Rose, like the proper one. But I thought this was a cute alternative for people who maybe don't have money to go out and buy it. Um, and this is in like, it's in a kind of fake glass where the rose is standing up and the rose actually lights up as well, which is so nice. I can't believe that you can get something like that in the pound shop. As well, it's such a nice wee gift for Valentine's if you don't want to spend too much money. Maybe you've just started getting out with the person that you like or maybe you just want to get it for yourself because who doesn't love Disney? Like, hello? Um, but I thought this would be really cute for somebody just to kind of see what it is like especially because it's not exactly massive it's not the big massive one but it is so cute that you can get it for a pound and for all you boyfriends out there who are looking for something to get their partner just a wee wee something this is kind of cute talking about all those boyfriends i managed to pick up something for my fiance grant this is not for valentine's this is just something that i picked up because i thought it would be useful for him but also for guys out there who maybe shave their beard all the time, this could be useful as well and make things a lot easier. Um, so I actually picked up this beard apron. Um, so basically you put the apron around and then you stick the apron to your mirror so that when you're trimming your beard, all the hair goes in the wee apron a bit and then it's dead easy to clean up and it doesn't go over your sink. Um, I think I got one like this for Grant before. It wasn't 100% amazing. But this one for Poundland might be a bit different, so we'll definitely check it out, see how it goes, see if Grant likes it. I mean, it's worth a try, and it says hashtag no mess, which I don't know if I believe that, guys, but it's a nice wee box. Again, another wee tiny, maybe you've got like a budget for Valentine's and you only have £10 to spend. You can get into Poundland, pick up a few wee nice bits and pieces, create a wee basket, and there you go. But I'm sounding like I'm pure rambling. I do apologise, Grant's guys, Grant. It's because I'm thinking about him. Um, I just want to get through this as quickly as possible. I don't want to keep on rambling too much. But it is a nice wee box. It's nice for a wee gift, and it'll also be useful for you girls out there because hopefully your men won't be leaving their hair all over your bathroom. The next thing that I picked up is something that I'm actually quite excited about. I've actually had a wee swipe of this and honestly guys it is so good it is a highlighter so basically it looks like this i'll put the wee band back on so it looks like this is kind of like a kind of i don't know like marble effect um and it says glow up this is in the champagne color and if i show you oh, so good now i'm gonna do a swash here swash swatch and as you can see i'll take that off because that looks disgusting um as you can see it is so pigmented like that looks so good like I don't know how well you can see that there 
But it's like a brick, which is good. And then like, there you are. Highlighter goals. I mean, if you are like me and love highlighter, something like this is amazing because it's only a pound for stars. And like, hello, it does a perfect job. You could go a blooming Sephora or whatever that does makeup and pay quite a bit of money. Whereas I paid a pound for that and I'm not mad at it. But I mean, they did different colors. They did a kind of yellowy color. They also did a kind of pinky color. This is the more champagne color. I just like that color a bit better. But I have picked up some amazing stuff from Poundland. Like my bronzer that I absolutely love and use every single time I'm doing my makeup is from Poundland. I also did a test in Poundland makeup video this time last year and I absolutely loved it and picked, that's when I found out about the bronzer so something like this is great I also got the drops last month and I got a lip kit the month before that so every single month Poundland's bringing out makeup and I'm not really snobby that way I try out any makeup I love makeup and I'm currently testing out bits and pieces for the wedding so it's nice to be able to get something like that that isn't that expensive and it still does an amazing job and like I said, if you love highlighter, you're gonna love this. Like, how good is that? Like, that is so pigmented. The next thing that I got is something that is really, really cute. Really, really cute. Not just cute. Um, it is these kind of bow hair ties. Now, you're probably thinking, wow, that is dead cute, Charmaine. But I was thinking for the kind of summer months, if you want to put in like a wee bow and then you or put in a bow, put in a bun and you just want to look, make it look a wee bit more cuter and put together. I got you. Um, these are really cute because you get one plain black, which if you know me and I'm at, I'm an at, I'm an absolute goth. Like I love wearing all things black. So hello. And then this is a kind of leopard print, which is totally on trend. I thought these would be good. I'm going to obviously Florida for my wedding and honeymoon. So I thought these would be good because obviously every single day I'm not going to sit and cut on my hair and make it look amazing every single day. So this is going to be something that will be a lot handier. It actually comes on the bobble, so you don't need to worry about tying it yourself. And you could totally tie these up even more if you wanted to, to make sure that they're not like hanging down like that. It's really your preference. Um, you could totally do like a half up, half down look, a bun. You can kind of see a wee bit better there on that. I mean, the options are limited, not limited, unlimited. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. You can just put it in your wrist. Um, I really love it. They did have a few other kind of versions of these, but the black and the leopard print were definitely my favourite. The, the prints of them looked a lot more expensive and didn't look like cheaply made. And that was two for a pound, guys, so I am so excited to use these. I think they look so cute and fingers crossed they'll make my horrible messy buns look a bit more cuter nowadays. Now the next thing that I picked up in Poundland is something that I would never normally pick up from there because I'm a little bit iffy about stuff like that. However, as you guys know, I've been starting to get into the kind of dupe perfume kind of situation and this is pretty much a dupe. So um, one of the girls that I work with, she has been using this and she told me it was for Poundland and um, I had just smelt it on passing so it wasn't as if I'd get a proper smell of it. And then I was in Poundland today and then I was kind of looking at their body sprays and stuff like that in their Valentine section and managed to see this, which is called Beau Rive. It's a 100ml perfume, so start off, that is uh, amazing. It was a pound and it smells identical, like a dupe version of La Vie Belle by Lancome. Is it Lancome that makes it? I'm pretty sure it is. Le Vie Belle is such an expensive perfume. It's a beautiful perfume. I know that like my best friend, she wears it and it smells gorgeous. It's very sweet and lovely and girly, but it is quite expensive. This smells like a dupe version of I and I. I'm not kidding on, it is so good. It, I would say that it's not like 100% a dupe version for it, but it pretty much. Sorry guys, my phone just died. Absolutely perfect. But what I was saying was the packaging of this isn't that perfect. Like it's not, it's not amazing, but it does look cute. You could totally sit it in your dresser and dress it up a wee bit. You could add a wee ribbon to it if you wanted to make it look cuter because I'm pretty sure that's how Olivia Bell looks. 
Um, but it does smell like identical, so I'm gonna just spray this. Yeah, it pretty much just smells like it. Like that is actual crazy. That smells like pretty much identical to it. Maybe just tiny bit off, but I mean for a pound, I'm not gonna complain about that. Like that is such a good deal. Like for getting that for a pound, and again. Like I was saying earlier, if you're just looking for like a few wee gifts and stuff like that for Valentine's, maybe you're just trying to cheat yourself, this is good. And I was smelling the other ones, they actually do a few other ones. One smelled kind of like Angel and the other one smelled like, is it Jimmy Choo? I don't know what the other, is it Black Opium? Maybe Black Opium. Check it out if you like those perfumes because they do do dupes like it. This one smells pretty much like La Vie Belle, like yeah. I just decided to get it because I thought it was a really good deal and if you're only buying this for a pound it'll last a while right and then the money that you haven't spent on Livia Bell you could buy more makeup you could also buy other bits and pieces or you could save up your money each week or each month and just buy the real thing but this is so good for an alternative and like I said I'm not really complaining about it I definitely think it smells identical to it the next thing that I picked up in Poundland was these small hanging hooks. The reason I picked these up is because I need to find a way to store my Disney ears and in the drawer it's just not cutting it because I like to see them, they look cute so I not try and have them on the wall. I don't want to put any nails in my wall so I decided that I would just pick these up and see if they done the job. I'm gonna try and see if I can show you. So that's what it looks like. It's got the hook that way and they have a little stick on the other side. You get five in a pack. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can actually hook my ears on them. The ears aren't that heavy, so I'm not thinking that they're gonna like be too heavy for these. Fingers crossed again. But if not, then you can use them for hanging up your keys. Mrs. Hinch, I'm pretty sure, uses something like these for her cloth. So if you're into that, then you could totally do that. But I'm really praying to the gods that this is a way that I can store my ears. So I'll let you know how I got on with these. The next thing that I picked up is something a little bit random because it's not normally something that I would pick up. But I thought it was pretty cool and I'm going to need it in future. And it is this aerosol paint spray applicator. So it looks like a kind of gun type thing where basically you attach the aerosol to it. Um, like spray paint or something like that and you can like just use that to like you just press the button and use it like that it's the most it's supposed to supposed to make it a wee bit easier for you that rather than you like putting your finger down that way you can totally do it that way and it'll make it more comfortable so i've got a few like i said diys that need to be done for the wedding and me and my mum especially my mum she's been doing pretty much everything for my wedding um think i think that this is going to be really easy and make it a lot easier to do that um like i said that's how it looks i would never uh, normally pick something like this up but it'll be good for future reference because me and grant like do use spray paint and stuff like that for around the house if we're trying to jazz something up or we're trying to make something look a color that we prefer and this would come in handy especially for those times where we're using that the next thing that I picked up in Poundland is this really cute candle. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a little stand. They actually did a few different colours of it, but I like the blush pink, obviously. Um, and the stand is like a kind of yellowy gold. Uh, I just really liked it. I thought it looked really nice together. Um, and this is in a berry and magnolia scent. Now, it definitely does smell like berries. I don't know if the candle is going to burn that great. But I thought it would be nice for somewhere like in here where you're just adding a little pop of colour. I thought it would be so nice and I mean again I got this for a pound like are you actually kidding me on? Like that is such a good deal. Like I said they did it in different colours. Like a few of the bits and pieces that I picked up you could totally pick up for your partner if you're doing like a cheap like Valentine's time. Or if you just want to treat yourself and have a Galentine's then go ahead like. I'm not complaining at it like it's so nice it'll be nice just kind of sit in and then it'll look dead expensive and I'll pay the pound for it like you could totally get into Primark and get something like this and usually they're about four or five pounds so you could totally go and buy a few of these and for a fraction of the price I am I'm really happy with this by the way I actually think it is such a good deal for something like this and it's quite a trendy item as well so I mean 
you could totally spray paint these like i was thinking i could maybe spray paint it rose gold because i'm more of a rose gold kind of girl or copper kind of girl there you are the next bit that i picked up was some makeup wipes these are the simple micellar makeup wipes and they're the little mix version know that i know that if they make any difference but they are the little mix version i just picked them up because they're micellar wipes I usually like to use makeup wipes every so often to get my makeup up first off and then washing it properly. These are a limited edition. I don't know if they're just limited edition because they're little mix or whatever, but I just decided to pick these up because, like I said, I normally tend to get them every month anyway. And I really bought it. The last little kind of Valentine's Day bit that I picked up is some heart lights. These are just kind of battery operated version, the little heart lights. And like I said, I want to do the entrance in my house. So I thought these would be cute. Um, as you can see, they're kind of like satiny. I just thought they were super cute. And I like the fact that they're battery operated. So I just decided to pick them up. And I think that these battery operated ones are really good. You can have them for years and years to come. And... I am not going to ramble too much about them. The next thing that I picked up in Poundland, I am so excited that I found, and it is this How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days DVD. Now, if you guys know me, you know I love movies, I love watching movies, but for some strange reason, I've not had How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days on DVD. And I know it seems a bit strange, not too many people do watch DVDs nowadays, but I do, and I love watching DVDs, and I've just said DVDs about 40 million times. But the reason that I picked this up is because How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is actually one of my favourite chick flick movies. I just love these two together. I think they're hilarious. And she is just on top form. She's totally, like, that is my sense of humour. I love it. I think it's hilarious. But if you do like that movie, then they did have different other kind of chick flicky movies out. And it was only a pound, so I am definitely no mad at it. And these are replay. So for all you guys that are like in a like reusing recycling stuff like that but like myself um then these are pre-owned and refurbished so it means that i'm not actually buying a new dvd this is actually previously owned by somebody else now earlier on i was talking a little bit about how i've got a few bits and pieces of diy to be doing for the wedding um like i said the majority is all done by my mum but there is a few bits that i'm gonna need to do and for those i actually picked up this paint palette it's a paint palette it's basically boring nothing really that special it would be good if you had kids and you wanted to like put lots of different paints in let them paint and um, do some crafts and stuff like that i got this in the craft section like i said i'm going to need it for something to do with the bedding so i just picked it up because i seen it and i was like i picked that up just now and that way later on we've already got it i also picked up some metallic acrylic paint and this is in a kind of coppery version again it's for the wedding it'll be do it'll do for a few bits and pieces that we need to do for the wedding so i just thought i would pick it up while they had some in because i know that ones like these go quite quick so i i picked these two up these are the kind of arts and craftsy bits that i picked up and i they'll be useful when i need them the only kind of foodie bit that I actually picked up is some Cheetos. I spoke about them previously last month, but basically they're flaming hot Cheetos. You get eight in a pack and they're only 69 calories. So they're good for me because I'm on the wedding diet at the moment, but I'm not going to say too much about them. I also picked up a Dishmatic refill set. Um, it's just two refills for the Dishmatic. And basically the ones that I had were really, really grubby and I needed to get some new ones. So I just got some new ones so that I can attach them to the Dishmatic bit that you get. And that way I can keep using it. I also picked up some antibacterial wipes. I, put, I talk about these every single month because I think that they're absolutely brilliant. I just picked up some extra for the house so that I can kind of keep them in make sure i've not got any kind of spills or anything like that or i just need to clean up something really quick these are really handy and you get 90 in a pack so i mean it's a lot better than the ones that you get only 20 in a pack you get 100 no sorry 90 which is a big pack um and these are the laminate lemon try to speak too fast now lemon and mandarin version but they are so good and i just picked up another pack of them some other kind of cleaning bits that I picked up is some microfiber cloths. These pretty much speak for themselves, but you get different colours in them. I like this greeny colour. 
Um, but these are really good for cleaning around the house. You can have a colour for each room or you could have a colour for certain areas in the room. Um, and I picked these up. These are only four for a pound, which is so good. And it's good that you get them in different colours because like I said, you could use them for different stuff. And I also picked up some Zoflora. This one I had bought this before and oh my goodness guys, it smells amazing. Honestly, it smells like you are on holiday. So I picked more of this up just because the one that I had in the house was kind of run and done. But I, I really, really love this stuff. It smells gorgeous. They had the lavender version and I was like, no, no, I'll get this one. This one smells too good. Um, so I picked this up. Again, it's good that you can get it for a pound in the pound shop. Pound, why do I keep calling it the pound shop? Pound land. Um, but I, I love this stuff. Something else that I picked up in pound land is this finish freshener so basically you put this in your dishwasher and it makes it smell really good as you know dishwashers tend to get a little bit smelly after a wee while when it's cleaning all your food and everything like that off it i just recently got one so i picked this up just to make sure that mine doesn't smell bad um i that's pretty much how it is i really just thought it would be handy it's good that you can get something like finish in the pound land the pound why, why is wrong with me today um, it's good that you can get something like that in Poundland, so I'm really no mad at it and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll let you guys know if it's any good, but fingers crossed it is quite good. Another kind of cleanery bit is the floor cleaner that I picked up. This is a Wild Orchard scent. I really needed some new floor cleaner, so I just picked this up. Oh, it does smell really good and... I'll definitely get quite a lot of use out of this because you only use a wee drop in it anyway so this will last for a wee bit. The last bit that I picked up from Poundland is some Johnson's Baby Cotton Buds. We needed some new cotton buds. We use cotton buds for lots of different stuff not just for cleaning your ears which some people do. I use these for like makeup, I use them for cleaning makeup, I use them for getting into wee bits that I can't get into. Like I use them for lots of different kind of areas. But I really needed a new pack of these because we have had our pack for ages and we finally ran out. So I decided just to get some new ones of them. Okay guys, so that is the end of my Poundland haul. I hope you guys really did enjoy seeing the new bits and pieces that are in Poundland at the moment. I love all the bits and pieces that I got. Some really, really good buys in there and some stuff that you can use forever like you can use stuff for a long long time to come so I love getting bits like that because it just means that you are not having to constantly buy new bits and pieces. I hope you guys did enjoy watching this video. Like I said in future if you want to see another kind of testing Poundland makeup haul or testing Poundland makeup video let me know. I loved doing that video like it was such a good video to make. Also guys if you've not already subscribed subscribe and comment down below let me know what else you'd like to see what other videos you'd like to see and until next time have a magical day and i'll see you real soon bye